how important it was uh, this Christmas season. Uh, before the Christmas, obviously, we need to prepare the advent. So for this, we will have a, a beautiful different candles, different significance and meanings. It's so important for us. We are attending or waiting for the for uh, the uh, birth of our Lord Jesus Christ is a birthday. And also we need to uh, wait for him again return to us actually. I'm not sure uh, some of them in the suburb of the parish as a joking brother told me, oh if possible Jesus come to later, <laughs> all day times better. Really? I don't think so anyway, because in, the, in our eyes, in this world, probably we need is a presence, <coughs> real presence. Means that probably some point we are scared, we are afraid because we must die. But as a Christian, as those who follow in the name of Jesus Christ, those who believe Jesus Christ, and those who love Jesus Christ, should have an ardent heart to see him, to meet him. That is more important for us. Today's scriptures tells us about very important things. Probably sometimes we forget what is. Human has two legs. Means the one leg is for the contemplation, for the prayer. The other leg is for the activity. This means prayer and activity uh, should be goes together and harmony. We cannot say just believe in the name of Jesus we are saved. No. If you believe indeed in the name of Jesus Christ, you leave what Jesus said. So you are activity. Today's Holy Gospel tells us this one. It's so interesting and also it's so powerful, deeply touch our heart. The beginning of the Holy Ghost tells us in this way. Jesus said to his disciples, you and I, we are disciples of Jesus Christ, deeply. Because this day, this morning, Sunday morning, we are here to believe in him, to have a worship, to give attention to God. Not stay home in bed. Or have a lovely cup of tea or breakfast, watching the TV. When the Son of Man comes in His glory, really? Yes, He will come. But not just to come, but He comes in His glory. This is very, very important. Doxology, the glory. Everybody want, everybody want the happiness, the glory, joy, love, and peace. You and I, we cannot have it. You cannot have this beautiful and powerful glory and peace and love. No. With the presence of God. So Jesus will come in his glory. Escorted by all the angels. Many people, they don't still believe in the presence of angels in their life. This is so bad. If we believe in God, we must believe in the presence of angels and also the presence of the evil spirit. If not, we believe just what we are thinking. That is not the real image of the presence of this is an irony, absolutely. For that reason, we have a no harmony. We don't have a powerful agreement. Because everyone has a different image of God, different image of Jesus, different image of life or death. No, no, no. Absolutely not. How can we have a, the same image of God and of our Lord Jesus Christ to listen to the Word of God, not to listen to mass media and YouTube or television or 
newspaper. Please listen carefully. The word of God. You can have the right image of God. If not, your image, your being, what you are thinking, are idols. That's right. So dangerous. Then we will take this seat on his throne of glory. The kings. How many disciples, real disciples, twelve disciples? For one of the disciples, we know that Judah Iscariot was part of Jesus too. But he had a long information, long image of Jesus Christ. He wished, he wanted one day Jesus took the every authority and destroyed the Roman Empire. And finally, he gave him the authority. But no, Jesus, instead of this one, what happened? Jesus died on the cross. So, failed. He wanted this one. The more and more he crossed with Jesus, followed Jesus, loved Jesus, Jesus went the other way, which he didn't want. Judah Iscariot wanted to be richer person, all his person. But Jesus went the other way. The justice, the peace, the love, and the mercy. So Judah Iscariot had a no good image of Jesus, and finally he sold out 30,000 denarii for Jesus. So, my dear brothers and sisters, you and I, we must have a power, right image of Jesus Christ. Where come from? As I said, from the Word of God. If you don't listen, don't read the Word of God, you will have already wrong information, wrong image of Jesus Christ. Children want to know their parents. Children, what they have to do? Listen what parents said. Not part of parents. Very simple things, but we sometimes forgot. All the nations will be assembled before him, and he will separate men one from another, as the shepherd separates sheep from goats. I don't want to explain everything because you know very well. This is a, even the children understand what that means. Right side is a sheep, left side is a goat. Hopefully. We will be all right size, means sheep size. Those who follow, listen, and love our Lord Jesus Christ. It's a so powerful story, which I want to share with you. We know very well, Mother Teresa of Calcutta. She has changed the congregation because the second probably holy she had received. During the prayer, she spoke this uh, exactly piece of the Holy Gospel, Matthew 25, chapter 25, verse 31 and 46. Reading this word of God, she felt something strange. The word of God it seemed like it entered her heart. And deeply, deeply touched her heart. She couldn't do anything, just stopped and felt something strange. Joyful heart and tremendous with the voice of God. And said, You did it to me. Oh, when you see, Naked people, give the clothes, hungry people, thirsty people, give the food and water. 
Not just to say, oh, sorry, thank you, take care. No. So in the congregation, so many sisters with the activities, many times they are tired. So they have a, I give you a secret, please. They have a special sign to encourage each other. I have children, so when children come to my church, what I'm doing, first the things I'm doing, give me a high five. No? It's very beautiful, isn't it? Powerful. Give me a high five. Everybody high five. Children are ah, very happy. Like this one, Mother Teresa gave them this secret, you know, the, the medicine called the, you know, the important energy, you can say, no? And like this one, like a five, high five. And five of the fingers show the teacher like this one. So, for example, some sister was very tired. If you see the, you give her like this one. Give her like this one. What does it mean? Exactly the same. You need it to me. Okay? So, when you know why? When your husband, when your partner, when your mother or father, children or brother or sister, your neighbor, you give her this uh, show, this uh, you know, five finger to you, give it to me. This one gives us joyful heart. My dear brothers and sisters, don't be afraid to open your heart to Jesus Christ. The better way is this one. Surrender Him. Surrender Him. Surrender Jesus Christ.